Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plant, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some fun goodies from, is it Yubi? I don't, you, I want, I always want to say, every time I say, I say Yobi, and I think it's Yubi, um, but I absolutely love this company, um, and a big part of it is because everything that, anytime you purchase anything from this company, they donate um, a school supply item to a kid in need here in the U.S., which is really, really fun, um, so, and these products are available online and Target, uh, and I always see them in Target, and they always have fun stuff. Uh, I think a couple years ago, they came out with, like, superhero stuff. Um, we have, like, the fun, like, Spider-Man notebook and all that good stuff. And now this year, they have some other fun stuff uh, available. So I just wanted to come on and share some fun things with you. Uh, I'm excited because I think like a lot of this is going to go to Nay, uh, and so she'll have some fun stuff because this year she finally gets to have fun things for school. Like last year, you know, it was like you have to have this color notebook and you have to have this color, blah, blah. And then this year her list said decorative and basically like whatever you want. And so I was like, oh my goodness, you get to go to school with like all this fun stuff. Uh, but you guys, you can use my link down in the description below to shop on UV's website and you can save 15% off. But again, you could also also get some of these things um, in store at Target. Um, but we're going to be looking at a couple things. I have a couple of fun pen things to show you. Of course, you know, I had to get a holographic notebook because that hollow dough. And then we also have some um, spiral bound uh, notebooks as well, which again, I'm like, Nay's going to love these. Um, so this was one of the sets that was available. Of course, I chose this one. Like you guys, it has hollow on it. And also, I'm really proud to say that Nay now knows what hollow is. Like, anytime we see anything that's, like, iridescent in stores or holographic, she goes, that's hollow. And then I either tell her yes, because if it's iridescent, then I tell her no. Um, but if it's like this and it's hollow, then I'm like, yeah, you got it right. And even, like, my husband is to the point where he's always like, is that hollow or is that iridescent? You know, so it's just, like, a fun thing. But these are really, really pretty. Look at these. So this pack came with a black, and I will link all the things down in the description below. I don't have the list of, like, how much everything costs, um, but I will leave everything down in the description below. Um, but we have this fun, like, notebook set. This is College Rule lined. Um, it does have perforation marks, so you can easily rip it out without ripping out all of... Um, like the spine part of it. Uh, and then, so we have a purple, we have a pink, and we have a black. And there are some other like notebook options, but I love a good, good lined notebook. Can never have enough in my house, literally. Um, okay, and then I have a journal here. And of course I got the holographic one because, <laughs> do you know me? Um, but we got this and I thought this would be fun for like, um, nay too, but I don't know if I'm going to share this with her, to be honest with you. So I'm trying to take off things. I don't want this on here anymore. Okay. So it's just a notebook. This one's hollow. It has on the inside, it has a place to put your name, your address, your phone, your email, blah, blah. blah. And then it's just lined on the inside. Nay loves writing. It has a little tassel in it so you can mark your page for a little bookmark. So really fun. So just simple, simple notebook. I might give this to her. I might keep it for myself. I haven't decided yet. Um, I also got some of these because I thought these would be a great thing to use because we have to do a lot of spelling. Like last year, Nay learned so many words and had to spell so many words and then also had to remember them. Um, so I thought getting these would be really helpful so I could store note cards and we could like make categories for all the words that she's using um, and learning this year. So that's why I thought these. So these all came in a pack. So there's four of them. Um, and then you open it up. So it's just like a little, it's an index card holder, but it does come with the index cards. So like those are all taken care of. It comes with little tabs in here. Um, which I think are going to be great. And then it comes with little stickers to put on the tab so you can write. But I thought this would be really good for Nay's spelling words because 
y'all we struggled last year like last year was a struggle and then retaining it was such a struggle um so i think this is really good like and i just didn't have a good way last year to organize her stuff so i think this will be a really good way to organize some of that school stuff um another use for these like i could see myself putting receipts and stuff and then categorizing each receipt actually like business receipts i actually think that's a, a really good idea so i might use like two of these for nay um for like school things and then maybe keep one for myself but then each one of these came with note cards which you know is really helpful but i think storing nays like her spelling words and like the words that she's working on throughout the year will be really helpful for her to review just because we did not have a good system this last year like she would learn words and then she would get them for like that week and then we'd move on to the next set of words and then I think she just like would already forget them and then they would just be out of her brain. So um, I think we just need a, needed a system to like kind of keep us going back to the old words. So I think storing them in here and kind of categorizing each word will be really, really helpful. Okay, now the pens. We're going to look at the pens. Okay, I had to get these ones because look at them. You guys, they are Harry Potter gel pens. Like, even if they don't work that great, I don't even care because I just wanted them because they are Harry Potter. But how fun are these? These are so fun. So you get the whole rainbow. We have a red. We have two shades. Like, it's like the orange to like a yellowish orange, a mint, a blue, a lime green, a purple, a teal, looks like a black, and then like a navy blue. And then these, oh, I didn't see that. These are scented gel pens. Ooh, y'all, we're about to be sniffing. <laughs> okay, I have some paper. I pulled out some paper because, you know, we got to test out the pens. Let's try these ones first. These are the, um, what are these called? The Harry Potter, um, my goodness, I can't even think of, like, the right word. The Harry Potter gel pens. There we go. Why that was so hard to get out, I genuinely don't know. But here we go. Okay, and again, I think they still have some of their superhero stuff. So Harry Potter's not your thing. I think there's another set that's similar to this, but they're the superheroes. Um, so anyway, I'm going to give these a little shake. They just have like the little characters like on, not all of them, but we have Harry is red. So this one's the red. Not that bad. That's not bad at all. I'll take it. <laughs> that actually really doesn't write bad at all. And I like that this has like, I don't know if you can see, it has like these little like, grip ridges on them. Um, oh, the orange actually writes really nice. Oh, maybe I should be doing this thingy. Sorry, I'm not good at, clearly I'm not good at pen swatching, but I'm going to do my best for you guys. Okay, so that was the orange. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, this is the yellow. Oh. Well, that is fun. Okay, here's the yellow. Not bad. It is kind of hard. I feel like on camera, it's really hard to see. In person, I think it's much easier um, to see. I'm going to open my window too. So I'm getting a little bit more light. Okay. This is like the minty color. Uh, I don't know if this one's like fully working or if it's just like really light. I can't see it. It's like so light. You guys can't even see that. So that one's a little too light, I feel like, but this one's the blue, like the light sky blue. So far, that orange is my absolute favorite. That orange hit the mark. I feel like gel pens can be pretty finicky sometimes, so yeah, you cannot see that mint at all. That mint is non-existent. I mean, I can barely see it in person, so I don't know if it's just my mint or or what um but you know ooh this lime green one is fun ooh that one's fun in person i promise you in person like they look better <laughs> 
All right, purple. This is more of like that neon-y purple, which I'm not mad at. I'm starting to get used to it. I mean, that's kind of still what's on my nails. So this one, um, I think that's Bellatrix. <laughs> so that's fun. Oh, I didn't even show you. Ron, sorry. And then this is Hermione. The black one has Voldemort on it. Okay, this is the... Is this teal? I'm going to go with teal. Teal. Oh, no. You see, it's like... It's it's gel pins. I feel like you got to, like, shake them and you got to... You got to prime them a little bit. But I do really like the teal color. Teal color. Not bad. This is... Maybe this isn't black. Maybe it's, like, a gray... But we got Voldy on there. Is this gray or black? Black? Or gray? It kind of looks a little bit more gray. I think it's gray. It's giving gray vibes. Definitely not black vibes. Gray vibes for sure. Alright, and then our last color is a navy blue, which... Maybe I should be doing the squiggly first. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just do this whole thing backwards from what I should have been doing? Okay, and then that one that one feels more like a normal pen to me compared to um, the other ones. Like the red and the blue feel more like a regular pen, whereas like all the other colors felt a little bit more jelly. I don't know if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. Also, my handwriting's horrific, so just pretend that that's good handwriting. But I like these. I think Nay, I'm going to give these to Nay. I think she's going to accept. I think I'm going to give Nay all the ones except the ones with the characters on them. What does that leave her if I do that? Is that mean? Uh, I mean, <laughs> she can. I just know she's going to rip these off because it's my kid and she is very destructive sometimes. So I would not be surprised. Okay, so that's the gel pens. Those are the Harry Potter ones. I'm assuming any of the other ones that have like the characters that are the gel pens are probably going to be same colors, similar vibes. But you guys, I did not know that these were scented. So I'm, I'm actually, I just got like 10 times more excited. Okay, these are scented gel pens. Oh man. Okay, so there's a white. So obviously the white's not going to show up um, on my paper. So I've hunted down my black paper um, and we're gonna, we're gonna see. Oh, I think there is a smell. I wonder if it's like, they all smell like something or they're just like, they have a particular smell. Do you know what I mean? Like, is it they're scented in the fact that like each has like scented a flavor or is it just like they're scented as in like they smell nice and like, they're all going to smell like that. Okay. Well, I can only smell the paper. I, I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm smelling anything, you guys. I can't tell. Is my nose not working? Okay, white. Obviously, white's not going to show up on there, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Okay, here's the purple. How do I know how to... Like, how do I know? Okay, these don't show up very well on black. Noted. I do like this shade of purple better than that shade of purple. This purple is the purple I prefer. I don't know if I should be sm sniffing the paper or the pen. <laughs> I don't smell anything. Oh, wait. It has like a slight scent. I don't know if they're actually... I don't know, you guys. Now I'm like second guessing everything. I'm so confused. Ooh. Okay, I like these gel pens color-wise so far. I mean, just based off of the first two colors better than the other ones. I feel like because, obviously, yeah, that's not going to look good on there. <laughs> you can't even see it. I'm just like, I don't think, I don't think each one has an individual scent. I think they're just like scented in the fact that like they have, they're not scentless. But they're not, it's not like, like I can't, I'm standing here and I don't smell a thing far I feel like if I actually smell the tip of the pen I can smell like maybe a faint scent but I wouldn't say it's like uh oh my gosh I'm smelling something scent like do you know what I mean like I wouldn't say it's like an overpowering anything because like it's barely there 
It's like a hint of a scent. Ooh. This green is fire. Oh, I should have write, written lime. Well, it's green lime. Look at that. That's very like highlighter green. That one's really similar to that one too. Okay, so I think I've kind of figured out it's not giving a scent to the fact where it's going to be like, oh my gosh, this smells like blueberries. Like it's not. Oh. I feel like now that I have more on my page, I can smell it a little bit more. And I think they're all just the same scent. I don't think it's anything to wear. I feel like the more you have on your paper, maybe that's the more like you're going to be able to smell it more. I don't know. Maybe that's what it'll be. Also, I'm not doing these in order. I'm just doing them in the order that they were in the pack. Um, but I feel like these are kind of like the neons are all paired together. So that's what we're doing. We're kind of doing the neons. I like this one. This is like a corally red. Ooh. I like that. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, so these are like all like the neon neon vibes and then now we're starting to get into like normal oh that red is not you're not giving me anything hello okay well the red's not it's not wanting to give <laughs> okay and then of course this one's black again ignore my horrendous handwriting i'm trying my best you guys without taking if i took my sweet time i would give you beautiful but we would be here for another 40 minutes just me trying to take my sweet time. Okay, now these ones aren't as bright colored. So these are like the bright colors. And then these ones are a little bit more tame. I will say that now that there's more on my paper, I can smell it now. I couldn't smell it when I only did the first little bit. I'm going to do this as gold. That might not be accurate, but that's what I'm going to do that one as kind of giving gold vibes okay this is a navy or maybe just more of like it's just a blue just like a darker blue I guess okay then we have a light blue which this one is lighter than that blue it's like this one first then this one then that one green I think this is supposed to be dark green I think I'll hold it up so you guys can see the colors better in just a second um, again I'm just going in the order that they were in the box people this is like a light pink maybe that one's a pretty color this is more of like a hot pink maybe Ooh, I'm not a fan of pink, but I really like the, like, I think these two are like some of my favorite shades in here. Okay. I think this one's supposed to just be, oh, no, that's just like a solid green. Wasn't expecting that color. I'm going to call that one peach because I don't know. <laughs> All right, and then the last one we have is an orange. Okay, so there we go. There's all the colors. I know it's still super hard to see. These are really pretty, and I don't think, I, I don't, yeah, they still don't really show up. So none of the colors except white are really going to show up on black, so that's why I kind of stopped doing it on the black, because they're not, they're not going to be like, they're not pigmented enough to show up on black, except the white obviously has to. Um, but I do really like these and I definitely think now that I have more on the page, I could smell them more, but I feel like as they're drying, like the scent kind of goes away. So it does have a scent. Again, it's not an overpowering scent, 
but it does have a slight scent. So that is something to note, maybe if you're like sensitive to scents, but I would not say it's like you start writing and immediately you're like, oh my God, it's not like a Sharpie, like not the, not Sharpies. What are those like giant markers that like you open them and like you could basically get high off of them because they're so strong, like the scent, like that, like it's not like that at all. It honestly took me a while to start being able to smell it. So hopefully that kind of helps you know what the scent power of this is like. Um, <laughs> uh, but there we go. I do really like this pack. I like this pack definitely more. Like the colors better in this pack than this pack. But I like this pack because it had the Harry Potter. Um, it had the Harry Potter ones, which I think just automatically make it more fun. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share some goodies with you with from UB because I really like this brand. Um, I do get a lot of stuff from them um, for Nace School. Uh, and now I'll have a couple things to help organize for her learning and she'll have some notebooks and some fun new pens um, and all this good stuff. But I just wanted to come on real quick and kind of just share with you guys and that I have a code for you. Uh, that way you guys could save too if you are, I know we're kind of late um, and should already be back to school but if there's anything that you're still needing back to school wise or you just like you're like me and you like notebooks like I honestly think I'm gonna keep this one for myself and then the other two they can have um but if you just like having notebooks or whatever it like that it's a good it's a company that has a good and a great mission um on top of everything else uh but I just want to share that with you again my code and like my link is down or at least the link to my code. If you click on it, it'll take you to the website and then automatically the code is entered. Um, but that is all in the description of this video. So definitely make sure, copy, paste it, save it somewhere um, if you ever plan to shop with Yubi. Uh, and there we go. And then you could, you know, help them also donate. So there we go, you guys. I so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.